Let's learn the next part of module 4. That is a necessary condition for driving point and transfer function. This is an important topic and we have two questions from this in the KTU model question paper as shown here. So let's study this topic. What are the necessary conditions for a function to be a driving point function? So imagine any circuit function like impedance, admittance etc. is represented by f of s and the numerator polynomial and denominator polynomials are as shown here. So if this is the function, it must satisfy the following condition. The first condition is that the coefficient of n of s that is a n to a 0 must be positive. The second condition the poles and zeros if complex must be conjugate pairs. For example, if there is a root minus 1 plus j 5 then there must be also another root for the function minus 1 minus j 5. Third condition the real part of the poles or zeros must be negative or zero. That is, it must lie in the left half of S plane. So if there is a root minus 1 plus J5 or minus 2, all this must be in the negative half of the S plane. Fourth condition we cannot have the real part of the pole or zero to be a zero. That is, the pole or zero must be simple. There should also be only one pole at a particular point on J omega axis and this is called as a simple pole. We should not have multiple poles on the J omega axis and that will be called as multiple poles. Fifth condition, the polynomial must not have any missing terms between the highest and the lowest degree unless all even or all odd terms are missing. For example, if there is a function like this, this is not possible since s squared is missing. Sixth condition, the degree of numerator and denominator must vary only by 1 or 0. This condition is not possible since their degrees vary by 2. Seventh condition, the terms of lowest degree in N of S and D of S may differ by 1 at most. This condition prevents multiple poles and zeros at S equal to 0. So if any of these conditions are not satisfied, then F of S is not a driving point function. So let's see a few examples. You have to check whether the given function represent a driving point function. So here it is not a driving point function because the numerator and the denominator polynomial have a missing term between the highest and the lowest degree. So here s cube is missing and in the denominator s squared is missing. Also one of the coefficient is negative in the numerator polynomial that is minus 2s. Second one, we have to again check if this is a driving point function. So here this also is not a driving point function because the term of the lowest degree in the numerator and the denominator polynomials differ in degree by 2. They can only have a maximum difference of 1 or 0. This function satisfies all the condition so therefore it can be treated as a driving point function. Now let's see the necessary condition for a function f of s to be a transfer function. This is the next topic. So here the first three conditions are exactly what we saw in that of driving point function. 
And the fourth condition for transfer function only the denominator has to be satisfied. For driving point function it has to be for both numerator as well as for denominator. The fifth point says that the numerator polynomial can have any missing terms between the highest and the lowest degree and also some of the coefficients can be negative. But this was not the condition for driving point function. There this also had to be satisfied. The degree of n of s can be as small as 0 and it is independent of the degree of d of s that is we can have even s raised to 0 as the degree of n of s. Then for voltage and current transfer function the maximum degree of n of s has to be the same degree of d of s whereas for the transfer function impedance and admittance the maximum degree of numerator has to be degree of d of s plus 1. It can be up till there. So let's test whether the following represents transfer function. So this does not satisfy the condition for transfer function because the denominator polynomial has s as missing. Between the highest and the lowest degree the term s is missing over here. Again we have to check if this is a transfer function. This is not a transfer function because the numerator has higher degree when compared to that of the denominator. So it is not a transfer function. It has to be less than that of the denominator or equal to. Last one whether this satisfies the transfer function condition as we can see that the numerator does not have any polynomial at all but it's not a problem but the denominator satisfies all the criteria for a transfer function.